Hey, welcome back to Unstoppable Warrior Tarot. My name is Tosh. This message is for Gemini. All placements, cross watchers, cuspers are welcome. If the reading does not resonate, I ask that you watch your other signs. Know that these are timeless readings. This may uh, resonate with you past, present, or future. Okay, uh, keep in mind we have free will. Accept what you want. Leave the rest. If you want something more personal, all the information will be in my description box. Okay, so I want to go ahead and do your angel, guys. All right, so uh, let's see here. What's the angel for Gemini? What's the angel for Gemini? What's the angel for Gemini? Okay, so the angel we have is Eight of Abundance. Um, so Eight uh, represents um, karma, okay, blessings, power, success, okay, but what you put out comes back to you okay so some of you guys may be going through a karmic cycle somebody you're dealing with or uh you know blessings are definitely going to be coming in guys some of you guys are teachers as well you could be teaching your children uh helping your uh child learn something you could be learning going back to school some of you guys could be graduating as well but teaching others okay you could be um uh, interested in doing this it says this is a time of learning and haunting your skills you may feel inspired to go back to school take seminars on topics that fascinate you or educate yourself on the healing arts this is a good time to change jobs or make a career move the key to success is in the details okay so monitor your projects carefully uh gemini all right. Yeah. So some of you guys are definitely going to be going back to school, uh, but you could be inspired by others. People are inspired by you as well. OK. Yep. You may have some kind of group setting uh, that you need to attend to as well. But some of you guys are in the arts, healing arts or something to do with arts. OK. You could be very creative as well. OK. Yes, you may have a daughter or a son or two children of significance here, but two is about duality. Uh, for some of you guys, you're going to meet somebody at school. Uh, you could meet somebody at some kind of seminar or a public setting, something like that. And you and this person are going to come together and you're going to learn from each other. Okay, so wow, that's wonderful. Great, 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 great. Let's see what your healing angel is. What's the healing angel for uh, Gemini, please? Okay, so we have freedom through faith. All right. It says, I calm my thoughts and rise above fear. I free myself of all doubts by entrusting my doubts to God. I have faith in God's perfect timing and placement. I trust his will and find freedom. Some of you guys like the colors blue. Okay. Um, but yeah, you may be having some doubts about a situation as well. The spirit is calling you to have faith. Okay, yes, some of you guys may wear glasses or need to get your eyes checked as well. Okay, mm -hmm. I also see possibly some kind of abdominal skin. Some of you guys may be getting pregnant out there. If not pregnancy, you definitely birthing something new, possibly a new idea. Um, I see a fairy here. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely being guided here. All right, and um, Things are going to be coming to light. I feel like things are going to be coming to light. And you're going to have that faith. But you're ready to spread your, your wings and fly. You're ready for freedom. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but blue, you may like the colors blue. Blue is um, expression. Okay. Uh, you could be trying to find your self-confidence here. This is throat chakra. Something you need to say. Somebody needs to say something to you. Some of you guys are singers, songwriters, producers, healers, uh, teachers, uh, clairvoyant, uh, psychic. Okay. But yes, I feel like you're trying to find your inner peace and calmness at this time. Okay. But you've been an inspiration as well. But some of you guys could be feeling sad. Somebody could be sad about you. There may be a, a time of you know, uh, uh, cutting your losses with someone, uh, but just trying to find peace through your depression or whatever it is that you're going through at this time. Okay. Yes. But there's definitely something that needs to be said, some type of communication. Somebody could have said something. You could have said something to them and this person is sad. You possibly could have went ice, went cold on someone here. Okay. Because you are an air sign Gemini. Okay, but you're very kind and, and you're very honest with people. And I feel like that's what you, that's what people value the most about you. All right. So, let's see. What was my next card? 
Okay. Oh, yes. I did your warriors. Where are your warriors? I don't see them. Oh, here they are. Okay. So while I was shuffling the cards, uh, I got Baja Vaterina. Okay. Uh, Baja Vaterina. Uh, this is a time for spiritual work. Some of you guys may have an altar set up. Some of you guys are, uh, you know, into magic. Um, um, but somebody very intuitive, highly intuitive, a high priestess or a warlock or something like that. But someone here could be into spell work, setting up an altar, uh, meeting with a spellcaster or something like that. But this is you. You're very powerful and you're very knowledgeable about what you do here. Okay. Highly, highly intuitive. But somebody here could be doing spell work as well. But there's also another woman here. So there's two feminines here and I also picked a divine masculine all right so these three cards all fill out with one another some of you guys are definitely dealing with a third party relationship here uh this warrior is dharma of kali okay if you want to you can look this person up okay but she's in reverse i look at this person as you because gemini that's twins okay two people all right but you're upside down here Okay, and then you got this woman here and then this man. So there is a third party situation that's definitely going on, guys. Okay, this masculine here could be someone that's wealthy, uh, that's trying to come towards you. Or you're trying to come towards this person here, but this is about wealth. All right. But some of you guys have lost your confidence. You've lost your way of doing a certain thing. Okay, uh, needing to get back into, uh, you know, uh, your values, your morals, because some of you guys have lost your morals and your values in this situation. You let your guard down in this situation and someone took advantage of you. Uh, for some of you guys, this is about money. Somebody could have asked you for money, needed you for money, but be careful with someone coming towards you for money because there's a third party that's in this situation. This person is a user, I feel, but this is also, this woman here is, this lady here tends to, uh, uh, they tend to fall for people that are players, okay? But this person, this woman here has lost her, her morals and her values. It's like disrespect, self, self-disrespect or something like that, okay? Um, but I also am picking up spell work as well. Somebody here is very negative. They have no morals. They have no values, Um this this person could be under heavy influence as well for some of you guys. But somebody here is definitely seeing a dark magician or someone here and trying to do spell work to cast two people out here. And I feel like these two are meant to be. But this person is a player. Okay? This woman is dealing with this man that's a player. And you may have been dealing with this person that's a player as well. Okay, but you may feel like you lost your self-respect in some kind of way, but you respect yourself at the same time. But it's like, you know, maybe a part of you just got lost in the situation here. Okay, mm -hmm. but there is a woman that's definitely standing in between uh, a situation or a man taking how it resonates here. And someone is, um, you know, trying to get in the middle of a couple that's meant to be together, I feel. Even though this person, uh, this woman here deals with players or what have you, um, this card is also talking about how this woman here is protected. Okay, so whatever it is that's coming this woman's way from this witch that's in reverse here, this, this is going to be blocked out. This person is protected. So this woman is like unhappy, unsettled about this masculine here and possibly doing spell work is what I picked up. Okay. So make sure you guys are protecting your energy or this is you doing this to someone. Just take it out it resonates. Okay. So your moon, your uh, stone is moonstone. Okay, so yeah, new beginnings are coming ahead, guys. Okay, this is about your inner strength, your inner peace, uh, your instability. Okay, some of you guys may be feeling a little unstable at this time, maybe a little emotional about a situation. Okay, it could be a little depressed again. Okay, uh, I have to write some of this down, but this is about you finding courage. If you want to, uh, you know, stimulate your intuition, your love life, um, you know, enhance your inspiration, 
and success for good fortune moonstones are good for you um this is good while traveling you can sleep with this as well to heighten your intuition and to tap into your energy some of you guys may be tapping into somebody's energy someone's trying to tap into your energy as well okay but this is a stone of luck all right and uh finding inner peace and encouraged so you're going to be embarking on a new beginning you guys uh for some of you guys you could be getting a new job as well or about to travel and i also see for some of you guys you could be um you could be part of like some kind of group social setting if not you may be psychic you uh, may also be part of some type of royalty or uh, something like that bloodline situation Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Libra, or Scorpio. I have those in your placements as well. Okay, and you could also be a June Gemini. Uh, the planet for the stone moonstone is the moon. All right, so some of you guys are definitely connected to the moon. You may, uh, you know, do things at night, work at night, stay up late at night. Um, uh, but some of you guys could also be visiting a psychic as well. All right. Uh, it's also connected to water. OK, so again, intuitions, but new beginnings are coming, but a fresh new start. OK, uh, four may be significant as well, which is about stability, authority. OK, spirituality, practicality and stability. OK, at this time. But it says Moonstone is heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So whatever it is that you feel in your heart, it has to be some truth to it. So go with your gut feeling. Go with your intuition. Uh, some of you guys, uh, the colors cream, yellow, blue, gray, peach, pink may be significant for you. Um, also, uh, the country Australia, India, uh, Tazarinia, Florida, the U.S., uh, the Sri Lanka uh, may also be significant for you guys. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. One second, guys. I got to get my food. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have celebration. You got a gift that's coming in, possibly money of some sort. This could also be a love celebration as well. Some of you guys are married. Yeah, a reunion is coming in with someone that's <clears throat> that's wanting to heal the situation with you. For some of you guys, this is a child's father or a baby mother or baby father. Okay, they could be feeling rejected or lost without you, but this person has childhood wounds or you do. Okay, but yes, you could also be re uh, reconnecting with family members as well. A mother, a father of some sort. That's for some of you guys, but this someone here feels lost or you feel lost without someone. This person was wearing a false mask. Now that they're, they're ready to take this mask off, you saw them for what they were here. I feel you found something out or you will. You may feel like someone is fake or this relationship is fake. Okay, self-care, self-love, this is in reverse. So someone, someone here is not taking care of themselves. They have no energy at all. Someone could be lazy, not wanting to work. Um, you know, just uh, not doing this uh, spiritual healing that they need to do. Okay, yes. What else? Closed, out guarded, and resistant. All right, so you may be closed. You may be guarded from someone at this time, someone that was wearing a false mask. There is a situation here that needs time to heal, that hasn't healed, okay? But there's someone here that wants to come towards you here, but somebody's not taking care of themselves, okay? Spirit is telling you to focus on yourself. That's why it's in reverse, okay? Continue to use your, in your intuition like you have been because you're doubting your intuition and you're being closed off and guarded towards that. But someone was being closed off and guarded towards you and they didn't take the time to love you or care for you, okay? But this person has childhood wounds. They're lost. They feel lonely without you for some of you guys, okay? Yep, suffering, okay? Past. This is the past. The past try to come out 
in reverse here uh for some of you guys so this person is from the past this past the past person is suffering here they feel lost without you they feel like they can't do anything go anywhere without you uh this person could be guarded uh with you there's some type of lack or there was no emotional support from this person and now you're suffering unity so someone is is suffering the fact that they're not in connection with you or they're not in union with you okay yes but i feel like you guys are about to come into union with a twin flame and someone here is going to be suffering from this <clears throat> okay yeah this person is watching you okay heavily watching you here this person is for some of you guys you are already in a connection or you're about to be and this person is watching to see who you're dealing with or if you're talking to anybody else yeah third eye so someone here is prying into your life trying to see what you're up to if you're dealing with anybody else trying to keep a close eye on you here but your third eye chakra is open you're using your clarity you need to use your clarity okay uh, but some of you guys, you're keeping your eye on someone as well. Someone is detached, cold-hearted. Okay, so you're cold-hearted towards someone that's watching you. Take it how it resonates. Thoughts isolating. <clears throat> so this person is up in their thoughts, but they're they're detached, but they're using their th third eye to watch you. Okay, and for some of you guys, this person either feels like you're about to come into connection with a soulmate, but this person wants to work things out with you okay yeah contract career commitments for some of you this is a job you may have your eye on here that's going to be reaching out to you they could be watching you as well also hearing if you have social media be careful what you post because your job could be watching this or this new job could be watching you to see who you are and what kind of things you do as well okay but i do see a contract here and someone is in separation some of you guys are going through a divorce as well there's a, this person has commitment issues okay someone here um could be bipolar uh scattered brain just all over the place doesn't know what the thing doesn't know what they want one minute they want you one minute they want to be somewhere else they're hot and they're cold okay yes it's like you can't get any direct communication from this person yeah guilt and sabotage so now they feel guilty they feel like they sabotage this uh, situation they've come to some kind of wake me here that you're the one that they want but see this person is all about sex this all uh, this is passion here <clears throat> this is passion and attraction you may be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius there was an unexpected storm that happened so you could have had an argument a disagreement with this person here but this person is very passionate about you it may take you by surprise if this person comes towards you because now they value your self-worth taurus virgo uh capricorn may be significant as well okay Mm hmm sees yeah they're ready to start a new beginning with you they're ready to take their leap of faith but see this person has third parties and they left you confused so you might have been confused about why this person goes to you why they stop talking to you why you had problems with this person arguments and disagreements with this person but it was because it was a third party here okay for some of you guys it was an air sign aquarius libra gemini okay yep but you're very nurturing and compassionate and now this person remembers this the distance grows fonder between you and this person okay you may be dealing with uh someone that was born in the winter months sagittarius capricorn aquarius okay yep triggers and conflict so this person is having conflict in their own life here but your spirit team is here protecting you and guiding you okay but there's forgiveness coming in from this masculine. This person wants to ask you for forgiveness, but there's fears here. And this person is in deep regret, but they have a lot of passion and chemistry for you. But again, for some of you guys, this is a sex-based relationship, a side piece, friends with benefits situation. And now this person wants to come back towards you or they treated you like you were an option. Okay, but there's definitely third parties here that this person is dealing with. Some of you guys may smoke, drink as well. You could be going out with friends, going partying, and you can meet someone there. Okay, but be careful and make sure that this person is not dealing with anybody else or in another connection. Okay, please make sure you get all the information from this person because someone here is still stuck on the past and don't know what they want. This person is a player. Trust in divine time but divine timing is at play here okay don't rush the process all right so let's see what your soul truth is 
what's the soul true for a Gemini? What's the soul true for a Gemini? What's the soul true? All right, so we have, how can I be more flexible right now? All right, so some of you guys are really busy at work. You may work multiple jobs, maybe doing multiple things at one time, going to school, going to work, taking care of the kids, taking care of the family. Okay, it says, what are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go, let love move through you today, and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. Okay, so always remind yourself all day long that you are safe, Gemini, and that life is happening for you no matter what. You are not alone. Some of you guys need to do some yoga. You could be in the gym as well. Um, do aerobics and anaerobic exercises for some of you guys, but you're stronger than what you think you are. Okay, but be flexible. Be flexible. Okay, but it's time to let go of control and it's time to let go of trying to hold situations together that are that's not meant to be together. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're letting something or someone go here. Very good. <clears throat> What's the message for Gemini, please? What's the message for Gemini? Okay, so we have flow. Let God's blessings enrich your life. But flow comes out in reverse. So something is not going with the flow here. Something is stuck in stagnant. Some of you guys are stuck in your head about a situation here. Okay. Mm-hmm. But this is the number 11. Some of you guys, yeah, pay attention to repeating numbers. You could be seeing repeating numbers, 11, 11. Uh, but 11, the Ascendant Masters are with you guys. Okay, pay attention to your intuition. But it came out in reverse. So some of you guys, again, this is about intuition. Ignore your intuition. But you know something, but you choose to ignore it or something like that for some of you guys. But we have reflection, healing, transformation. Okay, so you could be reflecting on a situation, but you're going through a transformation at this time. And it's all about self-care and self-love again love thyself before you can love anyone else all right but you're reflecting on things but two people here are together these may be two soulmates here but this soulmate is upside down someone is confused they don't know what they want here actually it's three people three is a crowd third party all right so there's a third party situation but so while this bird is looking at this bird this bird is down here looking at this bird so this person is paying attention over here to this one Okay, so somebody's mind is somewhere else. This person is all over the place. Okay, so they want to have the wife, but they want to have the side piece. Okay, or something like that. Somebody is running behind someone that already has another person. They're already connected to someone. Okay, yes. So third party energy here, but communication is definitely coming in. You may find out that this person is involved in the third party as well, is what I'm picking up. Okay, you're going to see something, you're going to find something out, but it's all about paying attention to your intuition. You see how her eyes are closed here? Okay, so deep meditation brings answers. Continue to meditate on those things or uh, information that you're trying to get here. Okay, but some of you guys um, may be needing to get some rest as well, but I feel like, you know, you're just trying to remain calm and at peace right now at this time. All right, yes, you may get communication around the winter months as well. Okay, some of you guys may like braids, uh, wear your hair in a braid, okay, you may like to cover up in blankets, okay, at night, okay, mm-hmm, yes, but your spirit team is here and they're uh, communicating with you, again, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities here, okay. All right, so let's see what your messages are in tarot. Spirit guys, guardian angels, ancestors, what's the message for a Gemini, please? Okay. What else? We have the devil here. The king of wands. What else? The eight of cups. 
and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so for some of you guys, you were dealing with someone that was in a connection already. There's a divorce here. There's two people who do not get along at all. Okay, and someone wants to have a comeback around of a situation. I feel uh, with the devil here, this was a toxic uh, relationship. Okay, but this person, um, I feel like for some of you guys, you're not on the same page with a situation. This was someone that you feel like you could settle down with, marry, um, and just be with long term. But this person has another side to them. Okay, mm hmm. And for some of you guys, you may be trying to release yourself out of a toxic situation here. Uh, you may be trying to hold on. The Eight of Cups in reverse, you may be trying to figure out if this is something that you need to hold on to. If this is a situation that's going to last, is it going to change? Okay, you may feel like, you know, maybe I can give this one last try here. Okay, but somebody here is very arrogant. Someone here is a bully. They're a boss. The, the king and queen of wands in reverse, this is an unmatched couple here. Okay, they're... Um, they're unmatched okay yes okay let's see some of these cards are in reverse i don't even know why they in reverse it came out like this so i'm gonna leave the ones that already came out that way but it wasn't supposed to come out like that but it's the reason why okay Tell me more about what's going on here. Okay, so there's a third party situation. Some of you guys, this could be a friend, um, a third party. Um, this person could be messing around with your friend. Okay, somebody's messing around with someone's friend here, but there is someone here that's very uh, bossy, arrogant, a bitch. Okay, my way or the highway type of energy. And this person is involved in a third party. So somebody here is a player, okay? The Five of Cups. There is grief over a relationship that didn't work out or a friend group that didn't work out. You may find something out about, um, this could even be a boss with the Queen of Wands here, a sister, an aunt, okay? That's talking shit about you, family members here. But you're gonna get your justice here. You may be dealing with a Libra as well, the Queen of Swords. There was some kind of truth or communication here. Okay, yeah, the two of pentacles that left you up in your head about a situation with the high priestess. You may already had an inkling about this or known this here, but I do see communication speaking with the tarot reader or some type of high priestess here. Somebody's going to get down to the bottom of the truth of the situation. There's justice here because someone here, this queen of wands, could have been doing spell work on a third party situation to leave somebody stuck and in grief over this king of wands but these two are not a match right now these two could be fighting at this time with the devil in reverse somebody's trying to release some type of toxicity whether that's food whether that's smoking drinking sex with this person here okay but somebody feels like someone is toxic someone is toxic controlling and very manipulative here and someone here doing spell work and communicating with a high priestess about this queen of wands here okay or this queen of wands is doing spell work to try to break a third party situation up for some of you guys but somebody here step came in the middle of these two people here okay for this person yep for something to not move forward so something's not going to move forward with this um this relationship okay something's going to be at a halt something's going to be stuck and stagnant here be careful with accidents guys okay yep you may be dealing with a scorpio i just saw taurus as well I don't know why. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is definitely a marriage, but this is unconventional relationship. The two of cups and the hyphen was in reverse. These two are incompatible lovers here. This is a soulmate uh, union, was possibly a soulmate union, but something came in the middle and knocked these people apart, this couple apart. Either you, your person, take it how it resonates. I don't know why these cars keep doing this. I know I'm not. It's the reason okay so earlier today uh before i did your reading i was meditating and i had to get a candle out because i felt so much negative energy the candle went out i don't i can't even tell you what happened okay um but i did pick up a lot of negative energy 
in your spread here pertaining particularly particularly to a third party situation okay yes and with the nine of wands here someone here wants to fight for this connection someone doesn't want to give up the six of swords but you're moving away from this you're 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 no longer fighting for a situation you're moving on here but somebody wants to move to, to common waters with you okay someone feels like something could work out with the eight of cups here that is worth fighting for the world they want to start a new beginning with you okay yeah the ace of wands okay so somebody here is uh impotent somebody here can't get it up in a bedroom somebody's doing some type of spell work here for somebody to not be able to um I'm picking up someone here doing spell work on to cause confusion in a relationship and to stop this masculine from having sex with someone or in another relationship with someone. This is the ex. This is my my nine of ones is my ex card. So this is an ex is watching and waiting and hoping and praying that something's going to end. Okay, in a situation, and they don't want this person to have sex with anybody. That's for some of you guys. The page of wands. Yeah, communication is coming in. The seven of cups. But this person has options. They're coming towards you to communicate with you. Okay, but you may have options as well, and you're gonna have to choose uh, on who you want to deal with here. But somebody here sleeps around, fucks around a lot with different multiple people here. This person is the page of wands, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is someone that could be young, they're very adventurous, fun, but they like to get around, they like to have their options, they like to keep their options open. This is not someone that wants to be in a committed relationship, okay? That's what some of you, okay? Yeah. But it shows me that you are the empress here. So you putting yourself first. You value your self-worth at the end of the day here. Some of you guys could be getting pregnant as well. But be careful with getting pregnant by someone who has other options. Again, this person has a side piece. Someone that's waiting on something to be dropped or done. This could be a baby mother here. Okay. But somebody is causing confusion. Someone is stuck on another situation. Who they feel is their empress. Okay. Yeah. The four swords. So something's going to be laid to rest here, I feel, but somebody is stressed in uh, doing spell work. Okay, so someone is comes. Be careful with someone astral traveling to you while you're sleeping. Okay, someone could be visiting you, astral traveling towards you, but but it's because this person. <laughs> I hate to say it, uh, you know, this is just what I'm picking up. This person is not satisfied sexually, or they can't. They're not aroused, and it's because someone's doing spell work. I honestly, um, that's just what I'm picking up. I hate to be, but the magician is Gemini and Virgo. Okay, so someone is definitely stressed out about their manifestations here, but whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're the empress. Okay, so the ball is in your court, but at the end of the day here, somebody is confused. They have other options here, or they're confused about you. May feel like you have options. Okay, or you're dealing with other people, but this person is coming into your dream state or astral traveling towards you. Okay. But I feel like this person is trying to release this addiction that they have. It's like they've had some kind of awakening here, but this person is very controlling, toxic, manipulative, plays a lot of head games, mind games. Okay, wow, this tried to even come out in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles. All right. So there's a family situation here. Someone is uh, caught up in a family situation where this person could be married again. Finances is definitely involved here. Okay, but this person is trying to release some kind of toxicity, I feel, to build a situation here. Okay, family, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so some of you guys got some kind of inheritance coming in as well. You could be fighting over property, uh, you know, money, bank accounts, that kind of thing. Okay, but somebody here was for the streets and all about drinking, smoking, fucking. And this person probably didn't even work. This person's not a boss. They act like they are, but they're not. Okay, what else? So we have the page of swords. So this person is watching. You got somebody here that's watching you, watching your money, watching your finances. The king of wands to me is just like a queen of wands. This person could be a warlock doing spell work as well. 
okay but they have addictions here um but at the same time this person is watching i feel like this person is trying to change but we have a full somebody wants to take a leap of faith the ten of wands this is the burden here the ace of pentacles so someone wants to come in and invest with you. You may feel like this is a burden here, but someone here is having financial difficulties at this time. With the Ace of Pentacles, you definitely have money and finances is coming in. This could be a new job offer as well, the Six of Pentacles. All right, so you may get some kind of disability, uh, some kind of loan, whatever this is going to help you financially because right now finances may be a little rough for you. You're ready to take a, a leap of faith and start a new beginning here. Okay, you could also be watching watching a situation in secret the moon okay so something is about to be revealed the moon slid out of my hand in reverse so you may be dealing with a cancer okay but uh something is about to be revealed what is it that's about to be revealed this king of cups pisces cancer scorpio Ace of Cups. Okay. So this person has a secret. They don't want to tell you. They don't want you to know. But you're going to find out anyways. And you may find out that this person is in a relationship with the Ace of Cups. Or they have somebody pregnant. This is a secret here. Okay. Mm hmm But be careful with someone trying to get you pregnant as well. That's the moon with the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands. This person is coming in very passionate very quickly here we have the four of wands as well but we also have the seven of swords the five of wands and the tower so someone here is in competition with you okay mm -hmm. so this person may be in another relationship already where they're living with someone things could be like on the rocks between this person they could be arguing over money finances here but this is like a soulmate couple but they're having a difficult time here because somebody here could be doing spell work and with the seven of swords here someone is lying in a relationship under a roof there's competition here with the five of wands this person is they deal with multiple people here they have other options this person sleeps around as well they could be sleeping out sneak uh, sneaking out towards you at nighttime okay but this person lays their head here with the four of ones this person has another relationship and that's the secret that you need to know this person is in love in another connection here okay or they're dealing with somebody else and it could be for money reasons finances for some of you okay six of cups yeah this is someone from your past this person betrayed you with the ten of wands the nine of cups Yep, so be careful with someone coming towards you only to want you for sex, okay, for physical means here. Okay, yep, because they see you as a queen of pentacles. You may have money. This person may need money from you with the three of swords. This person will break your heart, okay, and involve you in a third party. But you may already have an inkling here, but your feet are on solid ground, okay? So, yeah, you're focusing on money and finances. New beginnings are definitely coming in here. Some of you guys are watching where you eat as well, all right? yes but there's a betrayal here with the six of cups this person was definitely breadcrumbing you they came in uh wanting you all to themselves this person is a little arrogant okay yeah one second Yeah, so this person, the Nine of Wands, this person came in very passionate, very fun, okay, very in and out, up and down type of energy here, not here for a long time, here for a short time, okay, this person has a temperamental problem as well, this person may like to argue, they may like to start a fight with you, and then leave out in the middle of the night here, but somebody's dealing with two men, okay, you may, the secret you may find out is that somebody's gay, undercover, you could be part of the LGBTQ as well, but this person's secret is about to be exposed. This person is having sex with another man. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. This is not for everybody, okay? But for some of you guys, you're dealing with multiple options as well, and this person may be trying to get information out on, you know, find you out with the Page of Swords, okay? Well, just saw the three of wands. So someone here could be, uh, you know, waiting for a situation to arrive, 
all right but someone something's been going on for some time now this person has been waiting for some time or you've been waiting for this person okay but i definitely do see um a uh divorce uh separation fighting over money and finances as well okay so somebody's dealing with this somebody's uh in another connection where they're not getting along but somebody's throwing spell work on a divine union whether that's you or somebody else okay This couple could also be doing spell work towards you. All right, what's the message for Gemini? Okay, so we have sunglasses. Some of you may wear glasses like to wear sunglasses, but someone definitely is stalking you, watching you. Um, someone could be gaslighting you as well. This is someone that you are in separation with. This person you broke up with, this person is definitely watching you. They feel abandoned by you. You may be giving this person a silent treatment. You're enjoying your abundance or you're silently waiting for something to happen and that's your money. Okay, so you focus on the bad right now. And I feel like you guys are about to be very, very busy as well. But I do see a lot of eyes on you, um, watching your money and your finances. But you're trying to keep a positive mindset. But Spirit is telling you to keep a positive mindset no matter what. You're going to manifest exactly what you want. But I do see you breaking shit up. Passion, insane chemistry. All right, so you're going to have an insane chemistry with your money, that's for sure. But... Uh, you're going to be having fun and you're going to have some kind of relationship. So we got engagement ring in reverse. Why is this here? So some of you guys, you... You were very passionate about a situation. Some of you were wanting to get married. Okay, or you could be engaged right now, but maybe the passion is not there. But I feel like you're gonna develop some type of passion in in passionate uh, relationship with someone. Okay, you're gonna develop a passionate union with someone, but I want to know why this is in reverse. Why is this engagement ring in reverse? This is a partnership. So you could be breaking up with a partner. This could also be business. This could be work as well because it's in reverse. So you're no longer engaging in a situation with engagement ring in reverse. Okay. For some of you guys, this is a soulmate. This is our, was a partnership. Yep. Two. Partnership, soulmate, a lover. Yeah. So some couple here that's was supposed to get married and supposed to be together they're not or something has come to a halt yeah this person is stuck the hangman the ace of cups so something is stuck and stagnant something is left in the air because someone is unsure about what they want to do they don't know if they should start a new beginning in love Okay, but this is a new beginning that's coming in, guys, but someone is stuck here and don't know what to do about a soulmate or a partnership business situation. Okay, but I do see new love and a relationship coming in with someone here. <clears throat> okay, but yeah, someone is involved in a third party or someone's just unsure here in juggling. But I do see juggling multiple jobs, multiple people, multiple situations here and just being stuck and not knowing what to do. Okay, but yes money is definitely coming in and i do see some of you guys are about to form a union with someone and possibly get pregnant but be careful that this person is not you know giving you the okie ok okie doke but there is a new perspective that's going to be gained in this situation i feel like this person is no longer going to be stuck some of you guys are dealing with someone that's on drugs or you could be but someone's trying to release this addiction 
for mental instability here this is an emperor this is a father figure this is someone that has a child this person could be older than you doesn't necessarily mean that they are but this person could already be married already in a relationship here okay yep this person is the boss this is a go-getter this is someone that's financially stable they know what they want this is a pr provider okay a generous man very generous man okay yes someone that's about practicality and spirituality and very logical okay aries energy four four again four is your number stability authority all right what i say nine of cups so someone here may gain a new perspective and come towards you here but someone is coming towards you to communicate with you but you may block this person out because you feel like they're a burden okay the star is aquarius uh this person is inspired by you but you may feel like this is a burden here i feel like you're just trying to have faith to move on from this problem you have a lot of responsibilities on your plate this person could tell you that they do okay but this person is trying to remain positive and hopeful here and wanting to start a new beginning because there is a loss uh there is grief this person is grieving over this relationship um uh, someone here it may be a bit jealous or upset at you could have said something off towards you here and you have to walk away and turn your back on this situation to go towards your new beginning with the queen of swords you're going to be cold and cutting people out here that no longer mean you're any good with the knight of swords i feel like this person yeah this person is going to be very upset when you walk yeah you're going to turn your back on the situation okay and this person is going to want to work things out with you but i feel like you're not going to compromise because there was a burden this person is too much mental problems here okay but expect direct honest communication to come in towards you guys and for some of you it's going to this person is going to tell you that they're heartbroken okay or they may try to come in very impulsively. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. So someone wants to come in to build with you. This person wants marriage here. This may take you by surprise. You're going to get clarity and communication with the situation. The King of Swords. So King and Queen of Swords, this, um, they are a match, but they are, to me, they're an imperfect match. They... These are people that fight. Uh, it's too much control in this situation. Somebody wants to be more powerful than the other. These are people that are, they will get divorces. Uh, they're very challenging in relationships. Okay. Um, and I feel like, yeah, there could be a lot of cursing, a lot of arguing, um, going back and forth here. Someone definitely could be getting a divorce as well. Uh, someone that was in a relationship here could be yeah this person yeah they're upset but but for some of you guys it's because you are about to meet your soulmate and you're about to get married and settle down here but something's going to come in very quickly here and it's going to take you by surprise but i do also see for some of you guys this is a divorce this is a separation here you're going to get some kind of truth and clarity you find something out about someone dealing with another connection this person could have already been married here but someone here is doing a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of bickering. And for some of you guys, this is definitely involving a third party. Uh, this person, yeah, with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like when I see these two together, it makes me feel like this person is all about, uh, I'm going to say all about, but they may feel like, you know, your sex is healing to them or they're healing their sexual needs right now at this time with someone okay we have aquarius libra scorpio as well aries all right but uh yeah this person was all uh, hooked up in another connection here okay and trying to renew something but something was at a loss okay so that was the engagement ring Okay, so we have coffee cup meeting and com conversing is in reverse. A lot of you guys are getting y'all can reverse this today, not today. So you're gonna be blocking someone out. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to see them. You don't want to have communication with them. I see a lot of blockages. Okay, and a lot of cards are trying to come out in reverse for y'all. I'm definitely seeing divorces, separations, and meeting somebody new. You're on a new journey right now, and I feel like you're just tired of being hurt.
okay, and unheard. Okay, so we have Challenger at the bottom of the deck. Be careful with people coming towards you, trying to start shit with you, okay? But you're knocking out the competition here. You definitely have competition that's surrounding you. Be careful with fights, arguments, okay? Yes, but you bold and you taking the lead in your life, okay? Yeah. Be careful with breaking things. Again, 13 and 31, 4. Okay, so we have accountants. Some of you guys may be in the banking industry as well. You could be investing, okay? But money could be a little challenging right now, but you could be investing in some type of business, building a business, even a home. For some of you guys, restructuring a home as well, all right? But I do see savings. I see new beginnings when it comes to your finances because it is upright. One is about new beginnings, okay? Yes. Lots of happiness is coming in through all the challenges, but it's like... You are putting in the work that you need to in order for something to be stabilized. All right. We have narrator. All right. Some of you guys are into public speaking. Um, you could be a teacher of some sort as well. All right. Part of some kind of support group. But uh, Spirit is telling you to remain neutral in the situation. There is some kind of message that could be coming towards you as well. All right. Yeah. But you're narrating your own life right now. But people could be trying to get information on you, trying to see what you're up to or who you are about your money as well. It's like somebody is watching you. All right. 64, 46 may be significant. 10. 10 is about a completion. So there is a completion. I feel like this is definitely um, when the challenges when it comes to your finances. You're going to be narrating things. You're going to be getting down to the bottom of saving, saving money saving more when it comes to like investments and, and that kind of thing <sighs> and so we have another 10 here and that's completion all right so this is the boss some of you guys are leaving a job walking away from a job you may have your own business as well uh getting ready to start a business invest in a business but for some of you guys you could be leaving a business just take it how it resonates here but there is a lot of challenges but i do see you building something new you're going to be narrating your life now all right but yeah your goal your main goal is to be a boss so you'll be talking to some kind of banker or financial counselor here okay and getting some kind of clarity but you're self-sufficient you don't need nothing you don't need nobody for anything here okay yes So I see you becoming bosses. Some of you guys are already bosses, have your own business. But beauty and brains. Some of you guys may be in the beauty industry, may smoke cigarettes, smoke. Okay. Mm hmm Maybe going to the bar, likes to wear fur, likes to wear your hair back for some of you. Up. Okay. Likes to wear pearls or jewelry, makeup, makeup artists. Some of you may be in a MUA, fashion, cosmetologist. One more. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so we have tyrants. All right. So you're stepping, a, you're, you're, it says step aside and make room for something else. So you're putting something aside to make room for something else, for something else to flourish and grow. All right, whatever it is, you're going to be the leader of this situation. Okay, there's a lot of balance that's coming in. Some of you guys may have a cat as well. Okay, but you're highly intuitive. And again, you sitting on the throne, you, you telling motherfuckers how it is and how it's not. Okay, yes. And uh, if anybody come towards you with any BS, you don't have no problem with telling them how the fuck it is. Okay, yes. All right, and we also have Wounded Healer. Uh, Wounded Healer talks about um, good listener, empathetic, understands shadow side and ways to heal, uses painful experiences to help others, accepts. Okay, so yeah, again, some of you guys are in the healing industry, uh, compassion industry, nurses, doctors. Okay, but um, you may need to speak to someone. 
but I feel like someone is going to come towards you wounded. They may feel like you healed them or they need to speak to you in order to heal. Maybe they feel down or you need to speak to somebody. Okay. Yeah. So for some of you guys, this is involving a divorce uh, separation here. Okay. Uh, someone may be feeling wounded by you. Um, may want to play on your weaknesses in order to get some kind of forgiveness for, from you. All right. Yeah. But I definitely feel like you guys are going to be leveling up. And I do see you guys, especially when it comes to observation skills, uh, things of that nature. Okay. Being patient, helping others. Uh, you may have to speak to a lawyer as well. Somebody here could be speaking to a psychic or some type of prophet here. We also have caregiver and communicator. Okay, so some of you guys may need to speak to a, a caregiver, a doctor, a lawyer. I see also a prophet. Some of you guys are prophets, psychics, tarot readers of some sort here. But gain, gaining some kind of clarity and information about somebody's uh, marriage or divorce for some of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some kind of sort court situation is going to be mediated here. All right. The numbers 82, 28 may be significant as well. 11, 36, 63. Okay, yeah, so you now nah, you starting ending things to start a new beginning. All right, but uh, yeah, some of you guys may have a horse, may have been born the year of the horse, but you being very generous here, or you being very generous in this situation. But I do see somebody here possibly playing a tarot reader to split up a couple here. Okay. Somebody's being generous. Somebody's, yep, yeah, somebody paying a tarot reader to, to cause a separation, a go-between. So someone here doing some kind of spell work to keep you separated or keep someone separated out of a relationship, okay? But, um, yeah. You may be getting some kind of mentorship or providing mentorship to people at this time as well. So we have stress in reverse. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, some of you guys may have been stressed at one point, but I feel like you're trying to release this. You're no longer letting anything stress you out anymore in a sense, but in a sense was in reverse. Okay, so somebody here is a rebel. Someone here is not innocent. They play like they're very spiritual or they act like, you know, they're God or something like that, but they're not. I'm also getting someone could have lost their innocence. Okay, we have harmony. Something is just not at peace. So you got stress in reverse and harmony in reverse. Somebody uh, has a mental issue. Somebody has a mental issue. There is no balance. There is no peace. We have projection here in reverse. <laughs> okay. So it's like something is being lost. Something is being abundant. So what I'm picking up, honestly, because there is two, this is two dolphins here, okay, uh, makes me think about Gemini and Pisces. But when I look at these two, it makes me think of um, a couple, 10 is a completion, it's 10 on this here, and 7. 7 is intuition, which is in reverse. So someone is ignoring their intuition about a couple or about someone that's in a relationship with someone here and it's like someone is focusing on being with someone doing spell work here to try to stop a couple break up a couple from being happy that's just period but it's whatever it is that was causing stress is no longer stress anymore but there's no harmony here so it's like 
it's like okay I'm not going to stress about it but I'm still I still think about the situation I still you know I don't, I don't get it it's not to the point to where I can't get out of bed I can still function but it's not like I'm, I'm not I can't ignore it okay so I feel like what you're trying to do is just really focus on your money and finances here but somebody's money and finances is not right okay feeling alone feeling abandoned here some of you guys may have a disability as well but there's money coming in for a disability of some sort and then you got okay there's two women here somebody could be pregnant trying to get pregnant pregnancy here some of you are part of lgbtq as well uh something is about to be revealed about a partnership another female or a same-sex relationship doesn't necessarily have to be a woman some of you guys are in the art industry as well like i said um could be doing some kind of yoga meditation as well yeah T turning in is in reverse okay I feel like your spirit guides are trying to wake you up and get your attention, but it, you're ignoring it. Or somebody here is just dark. They're demonic. They believe in evil. They're an evil person. It's like somebody here doesn't use their, their gifts for the right reason. yeah sharing in reverse somebody here doing food magic be careful with dreams about food okay someone here could be trying to make someone ill through food be careful with what you receive from people at this time all right but someone doesn't want to share they don't want to involve themselves they're blocking this out But again, be careful with someone giving you food, sharing food with you, giving you bad advice as well as what I'm picking up. But I do see someone here ignoring their intuition when it comes to their body. Somebody's uh, health is not well. Someone needs to visit the physician. There could be chest, uh, throat, abdominal, uh, upper chest, uh, lymphatic issues head eyes nose throat okay yeah but this is a group this is a participation here somebody here is doing spell work okay mm -hmm. these people could go to church as well you could all right but this is about a soulmate union a connection here something that's supposed to be like a dream come true but there's interference i'm getting a lot of heavy interference now some of you guys these are people that you work with but it's because it's about your money and finances here you got a lot of jealousy again be careful with people giving you food things to eat here These are people in your surroundings. These are friends. These are people that you know in the workplace. Yeah, they're trying to cause you grief. They're trying to cause you a loss in your money and finances. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to get all up in your information here. Trying to figure things out. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone at work that's married. Or you could be going through a marriage, a separation, divorce, and... You know, dealing with someone that you work with, but someone is definitely married. Could be dealing with a Taurus as well. The Six of Pentacles, yeah, because there was no equal give and take in a relationship here. Someone was being breadcrumbed, okay? Nine of Pentacles, this person can't sleep at night. They feel a lot of guilt and stressed out because they breadcrumbed you. And now they want to come in and do the right thing. They could be trying to get information, find things out about you as well. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with some kind of manipulation at work. Uh, third party gossip shit going on at work about a marriage or messing around with someone that's married or in a separation. Yeah. Someone took a leap of faith, but now this person wants to take a leap of faith. 
and bring you um they want to invest in this relationship here okay yeah but this person is toxic there's another woman here that they're holding on to okay so for some of you guys this person has a third party the devil this person has uh, control issues manipulative <clears throat> sex money drugs okay could have money issues as well be careful with someone coming towards you for money because they see you as an opportunity to build but this person is trying to hold on to you <clears throat> it doesn't want to let go of the situation you may be dealing with a capricorn as well but there is money issues that could be going on in this month this person yeah this person has financial difficulties here but they want to come towards you because they see you as someone that they can invest with be careful with someone coming towards you to try to gift you give you money or something it's something that's hidden here and what could be hidden that this person has someone pregnant or another person on the side as well all right yeah there's two men here king king of wands and a king of pentacles so some of you guys are stuck between two gentlemen okay aries leo sagittarius virgo taurus capricorn okay mm -hmm. yep three of cups there is a third party page of swords all right, so this person is watching you. They feel like you put them in a third party here. For some of you guys, again, these are friends that are possibly gossiping about your romantic relationships here, okay? But someone is gossiping about, you know, you could be dealing with someone that's on the DL. I'm just saying, I'm picking up a lot of negative energy surrounding this here. What's that, Empress? Some of you guys are, some of you guys are dealing with a female, a mother figure, a sister of some sort, a friend that's jealous controlling and toxic has money issues temperance you may be dealing with sagittarius here so there is balance peace and harmony uh with an empress so someone may want to come towards you to ask you for forgiveness but this person is all about sex so you may be dealing with someone that was a user that's all about sex this person is very in and out this person is dishonest they will lie to you Okay, take from you, but be careful with someone getting you pregnant, getting you knocked up, and leaving out of a situation. This is a Sagittarius, maybe dealing with Libra, Capricorn as well. Okay. So this person has a trick up their sleeve. You definitely got a Judas in your camp, a Judas in the workplace, a Judas relationship. Okay, Aquarius is here as well, but this person could be watching you, watching this person, but. Uh, some of you guys may be in a limelight as well. You may be, you know, have your online presence. All right. But uh, someone is suffering financially here, but there's going to be a level up in your finances. Someone here is going through a tower moment, though. This lover that's in a third party is going through a tower moment over money and finances. Okay. But they see you as this single woman that they can invest in and build with here. Okay. They may want to, may try to come towards you and surprise you because they see you as a lover and a soulmate this person is attracted to you they're addicted to you maybe dealing with scorpio as well this is someone from your past that's want to come in as a soulmate here this person could be homeless and left you out in the cold stabbed you in the back to go be with somebody else but you wanted to work on this relationship but this person was a liability you're no longer interested in this person you're all about your money your finances getting your getting your paper out here okay but you got jealousy here this person was jealous over you your money as well okay yeah wanting to win at all costs there's a lot of competition surrounding this situation okay but you know that you need to end this situation this is an unrequited love these are two people that are not meant to be together all right i feel like there's another person that's going to try to come in and heal this situation you may be dealing with a cancer as well there's going to be forward movement with another soulmate pisces cancer scorpio okay yep yep this is your perfect match so your perfect match is definitely coming in king and queen of cups an offer of love okay you will have a family with this person if this is the person this person may have cancer leo in their chart nine of ones this person has a lot of passion energy the sun so you make this person really happy they they yeah this person is a lot of fun um but you got another person that's going to try to come in and sabotage this because they're going to see that you happy okay and this person is going to be stressed <laughs> all right 
So you got somebody here that wants to have their cake and eat it too. This person is not going to want to see you happy. They're in competition with you right now. They could be trying to sabotage you, your relationship, your business endeavors as well. Some of you guys are going back to school. You're doing something that you're very passionate about, but it's a it's a level of competition or it's like uh, in a field where a lot of people, it's a lot of competition in that field. Okay. I do see a new car as well. That looks very attractive. Okay. Yeah, but someone is trying to build up the courage and confidence to come towards you. This is definitely someone from your past, but you may feel like, yeah, you need to leave this situation in order to protect yourself. You may have to get a restraining order from this person. That's for some of you guys. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. Someone here is cutting corners when it comes to their money, business, finances. Maybe dealing with someone that's very shady in business. This person could be in the streets. Yeah, this is this this is a, a King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is someone that's very violent. This is someone that's close to ideas. They're very conceited, manipulative, overbearing, likes to start shit. Um are argumentative type person okay and they are very judgmental about what people do but they never take the accountability for their own life here okay so just be careful with this person they can act very ignorant here they're coming towards you okay they may even come by your house yep mm -hmm. they're gonna try to come towards you to start in the beginning okay leo scorpio taurus aquarius Yeah, the sun. So they may try to come towards you to start a new beginning with you because um, for some of you guys, they see that you're happy. All right. The nine of cups. Yeah. You got somebody that's coming in and this past person is going to try to come back. You got to be careful. Choose wisely. Someone that's young. Someone that's all about sex and themselves in and out type of energy. This is someone from your past. This person could live at a distance from you, but they may be thinking about calling you. You may be speaking to this person online, but there's definitely watching here. But I do see someone here wanting to move towards you. Also, some of you guys would be traveling as well, going on a trip, taking some type of vacation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be careful with third-party energy, guys. Someone doesn't know what they want, and they're still stuck. Okay. Or they feel stuck. We have karma. So someone's definitely getting their karma. I'm dating your friend. Hairstylist Barbara. Dreads. Okay. So this person is going through their karma. So someone's dating somebody's friend that has dreads. Somebody works in a uh cosmetology industry karmic sibling may be significant for you guys as well a karmic sibling could be involved in this if you want to leave then leave so someone had left threatened to leave and someone was like get the fuck out of here then okay or if you don't want to be with me i don't want to be with you but you raped charles to the bullshit it's like yeah i don't see you i don't know you you don't know me okay uh i don't need money cars i need you you're my all Okay, so some this person could come begging for you, wanting you back. Somebody's wanting someone back. Okay, it says gang stalking. So someone here is being gang stalked. They're being watched. They're having someone watched. You could be having someone watched. Okay. Someone uses mirror magic. Sex, drugs, and alcohol. I want to show you all. What else? The child nine minds beat it, just beat it. Somebody here is a deadbeat father or deadbeat mother. They don't take care of their kids. They're all about sex. Uh dating people, friends and shit. This person is a player. Ten thousand. 
Someone here could be getting some money, trying to get money. $10,000 may be significant, could be coming towards you. What's the next message? Okay, we have overseas. Some of you guys could be traveling at this time. Okay. Envious of you. So someone overseas could be jealous or envious of you. This could be involving a sibling for some of you. Okay. And I like your sister. Ooh. Who y'all dealing with? Okay, so either you dealing, so either you interested in somebody else's person or their sister or something, or they're yours. Be careful with this person. I don't know who doing what, child. All I'm doing is reading the cards. Okay, yep. Some of you guys may be DJs out there. May like music. Someone here could be in the military as well. But so money definitely coming in, new job coming in, but beware of someone coming in from your past to try to sabotage, use you for money, okay, into your friends and shit like that, okay? Some of you guys may be from overseas, Jamaica may be significant. Okay, so we have retreats. It's time to disconnect from the world. So some of you guys are silent right now. Uh, you're ghosting people, not wanting to speak, but you may be spending time with your lover as well, going out on a date. And silent about who you date is what I'm hearing. Be silent about who you date. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Exactly. So you're taking back control after a period of silence. And then we have religious factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right. So some of you guys, you could be dating someone overseas, meeting someone overseas, but there could be some kind of difference of, of religion, okay, um, culture as well. Okay. So as yes or no, pick a card, one, two, or three. We have romance, card number one, card number two. Success, card number three. Abundance. All right. So that is all I have, Gemini. Again, I'm Tasha Unstoppable. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. Okay? Oh, there's a mob. Your ancestors are here. They bring you a message. See you.